damage you just can't deal with at all. Absolutely. Korean, of course, uh, perhaps more famous for using his Fox and Wolf in bracket. This is the first time we're going to see his Banjo oh. on stream. Shudon and T just got a little bit. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, it's going to be in a while until the next compendium, That's true. right? That's true. Oh, they, they won't be here for a while. But Korean is also known for that one. Oh, yeah, he's committing. He's committing. Go -ho? Go -ho? He's committing to the banjo. He's keeping his promise. He's actually going to keep sensitivity to low. Very interesting stuff. Make sure to judge a person by their controller setting. So Korean, he's committing to this banjo on stream. Yeah, what an interesting pick. A lot of top players have... You know, sort of said after a lot of people all oh, dismissed the character as mid tier. Guys like Tweak, guys like Esam have been quick to say, no, this character actually has some stuff. And for the first time, we might be seeing it here. I mean, sure does happen, but what's going on right now is that. You just walk up to the stream setup without a controller. Ooh. You don't walk up to a stream setup without a controller. <laughs> Perhaps not, but that's like that's like it's like something you need. Like, I mean, that has to I'm be. Sorry, I'm trying to take some time to like to register that. Like, if the first rule <coughs> of competitive Smash is no Johns, then that has to be rule number two or three, yeah. doesn't it? <laughs> your controller. Yeah, where's your controller at? Can I borrow it? Y'all have one real quick. Oh, yeah. you, you mind you mind sparing me a controller real quick? Brother, can you spare a controller? Yeah. But, <coughs> Royal. Let me go against Korean. So, Korean, we, are, we both know that he's going to go that banjo. Did get the tag up there. And he did promise us that he was going to play all banjo if he was on stream. So, Royal, hopefully he's got something else to deal with. Get We're picking all the wrong options right now. Yeah, we already have our own tournament going on here. Mm -hmm. Korean, of course, his banjo will be interesting to see if Royal knows the banjo is coming out. I assume he's just going to stick with his main regardless, but mm -hmm. have to see how the counterplay comes out. Can't really counterpick Banjo yet. He did just come out, and and here he comes. There is Korean sticking with the Banjo, and even on the better color, rocking that purple Kazooie. And speaking of that, Royal rocking the purple Lucas. Yeah, he's rocking the jeans outfit <laughs> that so many people know and love. The hashtag jeans gang going around on Twitter. Uh, moving forward, here it comes. So starting off with the neutral special, using a bit of project out, but... Royal gonna use his Nair once more, but Korean getting hit up by these few attacks. Needs to find his way off that platform so he can get out of this disadvantaged state, but Royal doing a really good job controlling this match with his aerials. Yeah, finally got control of the grenade, and of course Banjo can't pull these out if there's one already on the field. Mm -hmm. And also the fact that, remember, Banjo will be able to go for his grenades and then drift backwards in order to catch it. That's what a lot of Banjo players have been talking about. Or he can use it as pressure like that one. Korean using a lot of his projectiles and reads it out using the F-Smash as well. He's using the Wonder Wing that far away. He knows the distance it would take at, but Royal was able to drift away, and that jab is surely going to be punished by that back throw. Yeah, he got it as a movement option, more like he knew that Royal was too far off stage that it wouldn't even think about clipping him, but just use it as perhaps a quick delivery to the edge of the state where he could go for a more conventional edge guard. Mm -hmm. And it almost did hit Royal. He's able to escape it and uses the bear once more. Hits him up with a down tilt, side tilt. So Royal doing a really good job. And also like uses Wonder Wing to immediately get back onto the center stage. Just avoid the ledge trap situation. And he's able to find his way out of it. But Korean, oh, the missed F smash. That could have been it. And note that Korean does have a few Wonder Wings to play with. Almost <coughs> at the end of his stock. Still three out of five left. So if he can get around some of these awkwardly bouncing grenades and force him into unfamiliar situations might be the kill he needs. Uh, Karen, you better take this off or else you're going to let the crowd down. But speaking of that, Royal getting a really good job with these confirms. He takes the number one stock, but 160, he's at max rage, and the Wonder Wing catches out the roll. Yeah, immediately off oh, the angel taunt. platform. Korean, he's just a boy. Threw up. Go, huh? Go. But he's going to take it with those jabs as well. And Banjo's jab is actually really good. And uh, as you probably saw, uh, I remember Master Mara tweeted about this. You're actually able to get a semi-infinite with that jab on that DK. It does. You ground him. That does happen. Interesting thing about Banjo's up smash, it does scoop from a lot greater distance. Perhaps lacks a bit of a verticality there. So you could say it's a bit of a discount wolf up smash. Mm -hmm. But the speed at which it comes out and the out-of-shield capabilities that you can use with it, it can really 
just turn the tide in your favor. Yeah, but Korean switching to a more laid back play style is actually using his grenades a lot more. It's a, it's a crucial part of your neutral. But Royal is able to dodge out of most of them. That M-Smash almost clipped him out for a little more damage, but he went for the grab. But every time Korean goes for a grab, the tilts from Royal are able to beat it out. But even percentages, M-Smash once again, Korean, he's flinging this bird out again. Yeah, I like how Korean is just using one jump at the ledge, especially when he could grab it otherwise as just a bit of a fake out. Although the up smash in place will immediately get met by Royal's F smash. And now Korean is going to be the first one down to his final stock. Already down, and he's got the Wonder Wing with Royal's name on it. He's putting up the thumbs up. He's feeling himself right now. Korean, you don't spare anyone from this disrespect. Yeah, no one is safe from the Gahup. Uh -huh. Oh. Wonder Wing's in the wrong direction, though, and that's just going to be an SD if he doesn't have the jump. <laughs> Air dodges down, and Korean is laughing about that, but you have to imagine that's just a bit of matchup and experience. No, not matchup and experience, character and experience. I, I think he just used Wonder Wing the wrong way. Perhaps. I mean, he's probably going for a B reversal back of uh, down down special, but ended up using Wonder Wing in the wrong direction, just like how early we saw another Banjo do it. So, Korean thinking about his choices right now. He's going to go on to Battlefield. Sure, sure will be able to do something with it. And Korean, remember, does he play, does play the Wolf? So I think he expected his up smash to hit him. Yeah, he does. It's it's very similar when it just it just has one scooping hitbox and then the upward one, but the range and speed are a bit different. And that ain't Wolf. That is not Wolf indeed. Game two onto Battlefield. Royal will stick with his Lucas, as will Korean with his Banjo. <laughs> He's gonna keep taunting every single time, but switching defensive right now. He's using his neutral special. That's what previously I wanted to see from the other Banjo player. It's a really good projectile, and even Sakurai himself explained it's like a Mario fireball. It is, and... Already, this is a lot better start for Korean. 52% almost unanswered, but Royal finally finds a window, does not get stage control. That up air has such a large hitbox, makes up for perhaps the 6 or 7% damage it does. Mm -hmm. He's able to keep him in that disadvantage state floating up there, but Korean gets his roll red out, but not the second one. Royal's got to be careful. He's beating a lot of attacks, and Korean doing a really good job, but his techs are actually being read out. Lucas getting a download, but he misses the... He misses the F-Smash on it, and you can't do that right in front of Korean, who's going to go ahead and put you in a disadvantage state, looking for an edge guard potentially, but... Yeah, Royal was out of a jump there, but managed to recover high, whereas Korean had expected the opposite. Reflects the grenade with the F-Smash, and that time the F-Smash will connect with Korean himself. He's using his projectiles and these nades to make sure to cover his recovery. He's got to be really careful, though. Royal, he gets his spot dodge red out. I think that's what he's going for. Right now, Korean's going to go ahead and bow right on top of Royal, showing off royalty is failing out. But he's going to get it to mount with the Wonder Wing right now. Royal, he can't go for these edge guard attempts on stage when Wonder Wing's up like that. Yeah, Royal, it looks like Korean is the one wearing the crown right now. He's absolutely tearing through Royal in this second stock. Still has a few Wonder Wings in the bag, so can't afford to just throw those out and... Lucas, of course, not the fastest ground speed, so if he throws them out low, won't have the chance to necessarily catch up because it does cross up. Mm -hmm. And also, do remember that Korean, doing a really good job, catches the nays. He's going to run up into him. That's the B that's the down special in its glory. You can actually drift right towards it and pick it back up in midair. Almost got the read on it. Korean trying to get something down, but the drag down there is you able to use the Wondering once more. Oh, goodness. It's such a frustrating move to deal with. And here comes the down throw into the up smash, but great mashup by Royal. He's able to get himself out of it. Yeah, not true until about 160 or so, but that F smash will connect either way. Take a bow, Korean. You've earned it. And Royal's got something to say about that one, but remember, he is a whole stock down, and now Korean's got a fresh new stacks of wings to be able to use for his Wonder Wings. He's got plenty to spare, and he's using that nade. I like he's using the bounce as some type of pressure tool. Yeah, five more feathers to play with. All. I'm sure he'll be using those as the earliest available opportunity. A couple of up airs will juggle Royal for a little bit. He is light enough to the point where these low percent and mid percent hits will be meaningful. Air dodges and almost hit it. That was centimeters off. Mm -hmm. Using that dash attack to its best and does the B reversal on the down special. He tried to use it once more, but ended up using that Wondering in the wrong direction. That is one resource down. Royal's got to keep track of that one. Almost got juggled up. Here comes the down throw. And he knew it was coming. Tried to use the Wondering to interrupt it, but thankfully it didn't consume it. Yeah, Royal Zare just interrupted him during the startup, and of course, if you do get your Wonder Wing interrupted during startup, it does not cost a Wonder Wing. You still have the same amount you started with. Devil's Gavi, he's catching a nade right now. He's going to throw it right back at Korean, but he's got something to say. The nade wants more. 143%. Oh, 
Korean. No, you can't do that against him. He's just a boy. Korean. What He's are you? just a boy. <laughs> I'm. I'm stunned. I'm. I don't know what to say. He took a bow. And a, and a charge right towards He gave him a warning, but Korean. <laughs> Quick taunt to body, and taunt it's going to be game three for the two of them. Oh, man. He got in Royal's head. He's able to use that Wonder Wing. It's a ridiculously strong move. He can catch all rolls. He can catch out air dodges. Oh, my goodness. It goes all around. But Korean taking game number two. And one thing I liked about Korean in that matchup is that he only used the Wonder Wing offstage when Royal had already used his jump. When the options, when the movement options and the recovery options are more limited, Korean will just know that there's only one or two spaces he can even go for, and he will stuff those pathways immediately. Mm -hmm, but props to Royal. This is game number three against Korean. Royal and Korean, here we go. This is the final game to see who will move on on the winner's side of this pool. And he's using his Wonder Wing. I think he, at this point, you know that he's going for that down special reversal. Perhaps he is, but nevertheless, it's going to be Royal. He gets this started with a couple of quick follow-ups. Landing there from Korean will even it up, but only for the moment. Mm -hmm. These down tilts are really good. He's actually able to catch it out. He wants some more, but he's able to you wonder wing that away, but right in front of Royal's face, that's going to be a punish, and you can't use that PK freeze right in front of Korean, who's simply going to use that jab punish, so he's a little bit behind on the percent, but remember, Banjo with that nade is able to get so much off. Yeah, not only the nades, just those neutral bees, the eggs being shot out as well. A lot of people don't like the auto fire, but when just simply getting one towards the ledge, it is a bit of a zoning tool. It does stuff out a pathway. And these fares from Korean are really well spaced. He does, this time, he does get the tech. He's going to go in and force him in the ground situation. He used the neutral special to clip him out for a little more damage. Unfortunately, that's not going to be safe. And the eggs are bouncing. Royal's got to be careful. He lands the grab. Finally, Bathro now to take it. This ain't Ness, after all. He reverses the PK fire on accident. This time, throws one out in the right direction. Misses the up smash, though. And that's going to be an easy back throw for Korean. Almost killing. Have to imagine a fair off stage will. Yeah, but he's actually able to get away. This back throw is surely to kill this time. He's actually able to DI just in the right direction. So Royal is staying safe with a perfectly angled side tilt. He's bowing twice this time. Korean filling himself. Yeah, Royal may be the royalty here, but only getting his respect from those bows. And now Korean will just delay his descent with the air dodges and the grenades. Just has so many tools he can use to land it five or six different spots and that up smash once again not going to connect. Ah, oh, Korean. Let, let, stop it. Let him play the game. He finally gets clipped out by the up tilt, but Korean, he's definitely having a lot of fun with this one. He is, and you can tell he's enjoying himself. It's a new character. Strategies and counterplay haven't been fully developed, and he's just having fun. And he's, does, he's, he's missing those techs, though, and that's something that Royal has definitely been catching on. And he's actually going to clip him out with the two frame, but his up special is going to be back, and he uses the Wonder Wing. Really intelligent play by him. Royal He's not respecting it, so Korean simply realizing that, throwing out the nade to buy him some space, and Royal has to respect it, gets hit up with the nade. Yeah, Korean is using some of these shock spring pads on stage as well, that up special, when you normally associate that with recovery, it does have a hitbox similar to Sonic Spring, so you can just use that as a get off me option. He's able to get out of it, a perfectly spaced fair from Korean once more. Royal's gotta be careful. Those nades are clipping out for more damage than it should. He's going for the F smash read. Korean, he's done that multiple times, and surely when they hit, he's got something down, but he's got punished multiple times again, and Kazumi, he's taunting once more. But once again, he was out of a jump, but jumps back and air dodges out, but right into his grasp, the berry into the up smash. Royal is gonna be out of that second stock, takes a bow again. Korean is in the driver's seat in this game. I mean, it's like respect your elders, Boulder. You are the elder in this situation, Korean. Definitely feel himself right now. These backers are perfectly spaced out. That Royal can't get a punish. And he's abusing the fact that Korean, Banjo-Kazooie, they don't just have one double jump. They got two. Of course they do. They have just 10 different ways to mix you up offstage. The second PK freeze won't connect, and he burns another feather. Korean, of course, at 119%. Perhaps it won't be living too much longer, so he can burn those feathers and still get five, or mm. five more than back. Next stock, as he will right now. It just beat out the Wonder Ring just in time. The perfectly tiptoe fair from Royal. Taking Korean stock and 60%. This is definitely doable, but Korean switching to a more defensive play style. He knows he has the lead, so why play aggressive when you can simply camp out with nades and use their perfectly spaced aerials to catch out Royal when he's least expecting it? Yeah, he misses with the F smash, but does not punish in time and gets hit with a rapid jab as a response. Has him trapped again, but good parry to get out of it. And Royal now has center stage. Mm -hmm. He's got center stage for how long, Korean? Oh, he's got it! Throws down Kazooie and immediately only at 90%. The S-Smash very potent. 
A lot of people doubted its kill power, especially with the range that it has, but it is a viable option. It's 